Well, hey, silver tear, silver squeeze, silver short, silver, silver wise, rising, rising. Hey, so this morning I got up and I noticed that the Shanghai Exchange, silver closed out. Mind you, over here, it closed out, I think, right at $32. Shanghai Exchange, it closed out, at, I think it was $36 and a penny. Think about that for a moment. You all know just as well as I do, man, they pretty much, man, they were just pulverizing us and beating us half to death on silver. They really was. And mind you, it's been, what, well over a decade since silver was on an all-time high of $50 an ounce? Well, just right now, you know, I have been keeping up with commodities and I've been watching um, the metals and the futures markets and the trends. And I'm going to make a prediction here. I think the prediction, more likely, the way that silver is going right now is probably going to hit $50 by August, no later than September of this year. Now, you think about that for a second. That means every single one of you that's actually been still investing in silver, still been stacking silver, still been buying silver, I told you, don't get rid of it. Some of you lost heart, um, and, and rightfully so. That's the whole intent. It's called, as the old saying goes, they, you know, I hate to say this, and I don't mean to be negative or derogatory in any way, shape, fashion, or form, but I need for you to listen to me. There's a, a term out there called shaking the monkeys out of the tree. They want you to to lose heart. They want you to to do everything. They want you to do everything you can to make sure that you stay unmotivated about investing in constitutional and real assets. You'll get everybody out there that will turn around and, and have you to just fight against it because you know stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, all of this has always been the norm for so long. Uh, and they we all know that they have suppressed the metals markets big time, but we know that's the only hedge against inflation. Segwaying into inflation here. Well, they've definitely done inflated the dollar to so damn much that it ain't worth two dead flies, two cents. It really ain't. And, of course, you know, the United States of America has turned around and weaponized the dollar against all these other currencies. And, and, and of course, a lot of currencies say, you know what, man, we pulling out of this mess. So you got the British nation and a lot of other nations that's done pulled away from the dollar. And we, I mean, we can't go to war to everybody. We can't do like we did uh, with, with Saddam Hussein and Omar Gaddafi. Can't we? Can't just go to war with everybody, and so people are fleeing the dollar like a rat flees a sinking ship. And what is America's only solution to try to hedge the dollar? I tell you what their solution is. Don't y'all listen to me real close, all right? Because I think differently than a lot of other people. But my thoughts are usually what are percent spot on and right. So what did, what did they do? What did the Biden administration do as soon as they got in office? They turn around and say, you know, the solution to be able to hedge ourselves to make sure that the dollar stays strong in this world is to sit there and hire 70,000 more IRS agents. So where they feel like that they can go and just uh, tax the living hell out of you. And if you don't pay your taxes or whatever taxes they tell you you need to pay, they throw you in jail. The motivation of throwing in jail is that you going to come up with that 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 money some way, somehow. Even if you got to crap it, you coming up with it rather than going to jail. And if you listen to me over these last decades and stuff. You notice if you've done what I told you to and mind you, everything that I'm doing is only suggestion because I'm never going to tell you to do anything that I have not already put into practice and done myself when this last 10 years I have been able to not only prosper myself but everyone that follows and listens to me has prospered exponentially and now it looks like that they can no longer hold back to the metal market. I know, Pastor Al, you said that many, many years ago. Listen, you don't ever know what these people are gonna do. You can't ever predict what they're gonna do, but I do know this. Copper is on a tear right now, a tear. Gold is on a tear. Gold is up, man. I mean, I, I've been so much out of the net because I've been working so much. Come to find out, man, gold done went up $400 an ounce. I'm like, wow. So the gold I got in the safe, guess what? What else do you know that, that has that type of, of rise. Man, $400 an ounce, man. And silver maintained and, and kept standing in the 20s. And maybe what? You can get it three, four dollars over spot. Now, silver's at $36, closed out the same Shanghai exchange. It's going to be very interesting to see exactly um, what it's going to say over here. It's going to be extremely interesting to find out what silver is going to actually 
close out at today. I'm gonna keep my eyes on it. But I would tell you this, is it not better now to get silver at 30 something dollars or you can get it under $40 an ounce rather than 50? And I, I, I'm not in a rush to go out and buy silver even though I like silver, love silver and will continue to keep getting silver over and over, and over again. But you know what? Hey, I've got uh, enough silver to, to be able to take care of us for a while. And I think um, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, the, the ability to have the foresight and look out and patience. That's what investing is about. A lot of people, when they invest, they forget about, there's always a risk to everything. But man, people used to mock, you know, jeer me, deride me, chide me. Oh, you see, look, 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 now you're eating your crow and stuff. Nope. If I told, look, I told you, I have not sold one ounce of silver. A lot of people have. And a lot of people went over to cryptocurrency, made a lot of money in it, made a lot of money and stuff. And now it's becoming uncertain because it's becoming so un, so regulated. I mean, nobody can actually say anything about XRP anymore or nothing like that. I mean, we've been waiting on XRP like we've been waiting on silver. But man, I tell you what, I, I, I do think um, that wisdom has kept me to be able to hold it and a hold and a hold. Hey, I can tell you right now, I've been holding for like 14 years. What is this, 2024? And now we just watching silver on the move? Man, again, again, with all these corrections going on, looks like Pastor Dow's on the right side of history again. And like I said before, it's never been to zero, unlike the dollar. Gold has never been to zero. Silver's never been to zero. Real tangible assets has never been to zero. But this fiat currency, you know, Federal Reserve knows that you carry around in your pocket. It only has value just because the American government says so. Not that it has any intrinsic value whatsoever at all. What would you rather hedge yourself and protect yourself against the word of the United States government or the or what you know to be money for over 5,000 years because self called silver? And I notice another trend that's going on out there. Gold is getting so expensive that people don't want to buy it, yet it's going to continue to keep going up as well. But a lot of people that used to buy gold have stopped buying gold and been buying silver. And they just went over to the silver market. As a matter of fact, before the end of the day, as I actually watch what goes on and stuff, I've been uh, actually glued to my phone here and there um, and checking things out. More than likely, more than likely, I'm more than likely, I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to see about picking up a few ounces of silver uh, before it hit 50. But I believe, it's just my, I'm gonna make a prediction. I don't say that my prediction is true. I'm not saying that, that you go and um, uh, bank everything you got on, just, that's just my prediction is what, for my own self. Um, hey, I'm not giving anybody out there no investment advice. I'm not qualified. You got people out there that they say is a hell of a lot more competent than I am. You should actually seek out them. But if you wanna do what I do, and I can only tell you what I do, I'm gonna probably, and even though, I, I man, I need to get me some more storage area. Because I tell you, man, I'm telling you, silver's looking really good. And if it's not looking good to you in this generation right here, you better believe the next generation to come. Because fiat currency, hey, America done had its run. It's done had its run. It's done had its grander. It's, it's, it's just, it's over. Again, what is the American dollar backed up by? I'm going to tell you what's backed up by the IRS. The American government weaponizing itself against the American people, hiring 70,000 more agents. Now you can fill up uh, the largest football stadium in the country. You can fill up the big house that's up in Michigan. With, with, that's how many IRS agents has been hired by the federal government. All to do what? To come and get all you people out there that ain't paying your taxes. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing, isn't it? Huh. On my Patreon video, I'm going to make another video over there and inform my peeps over there uh, what the future is more likely going to be looking like here in the near future and what you should be doing. If you choose to want to come over and join over on Patreon, get a little bit more insight. I get a hell of a lot more than I do over on YouTube, especially since I've been demonetized. I also find out I don't think that this demonetization is, is something that is actually going to stick for a long period of time. I think it's just something for a period of time and after that it's over with. But anyway, hey, we're going to see, though, ain't we? We're literally going to see. Hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Keep your eyes glued to the market. And you know something is going on when Silver makes the front line of the news in CNNBC. CNBC. CNBC. Yep, you better believe it. 
Well, I hope I said something to stimulate thought. And as my brother Baldwin says, hope I've been able to serve you well.